Hello, my name is Pixelania Twix. Welcome to my channel and welcome to what I like to call a one and done. It used to be where I do these one and dones where I play the game for like an hour or um, maybe just a quick series, but more, more than, uh, no, use your words. Um, lately, it's been basically however long I feel like it. And then I give you like a, the TLDR of what I think of the game firsthand and if I might decide to play it later on. Um, most of the games that I have reviewed, I haven't had time to replay them um, or continue to play them because there are lots of games that are out there and I have lots of games that I haven't even touched yet. Um, this one is called Stuffed and it was given to me by the devs at Waving Bear Studio and I have it up here on my um Twitch or my Twitch on my Steam. Um, and I will see that this game is super cute. It's a first person shooter, and the premise is that you are a teddy bear and you are protecting your owner who's tucked in soundly into her bed at night, and you are keeping the creepy crawlies from her room. Creepy call it crawlies like the shadowy figure that I like to call Slenderman, although I don't think that was Slenderman, I think it's just the boogeyman. Uh, the shadowy figure called the boogeyman and then there are nightmarish creatures like the gnomes i mean there are people that are actually afraid of gnomes i'm not afraid of them maybe they are a little bit creepy maybe they are um and then there are like angry rabbits or not angry rabbits angry ducks and i guess the further you get into the game there are more entities that you must fight off but you have to protect her bedroom door and as you're protecting the door you have to kind of run back and forth throughout the house destroying these creatures and uh, make sure that you're uh, crafting ammo and things like that so i do like the fact that there's crafting a little bit of crafting in the game i wasn't quite sure how to do that the tutorial didn't give you a lot of information um, so let's talk about the tutorial really quick it was a very short but to the point kind of tutorial. You did get a little bit of gameplay. I wish that it was a little bit more um, to the tutorial than what we were given um, because I feel like once you got into the game, um, you were rushed into it and it got things got a little bit confusing. Now, it could be user error because I'm me, okay? Um, and it takes a few few times for me to understand things. And so it might have been user error on my part. So charge it to my head and not my heart. If you were one of those people that were like, yeah, Pix, I got it. I don't know what's wrong with you. Um, but the the um, the crafting part was a little bit confusing. And then running around trying to find ammo was difficult. You ran out of ammo pretty, pretty quickly, um, which I think kind of gives you, well, it does give you a bit more of a challenge, but it can be frustrating when you don't have anything to kill um, the gnomes and the ducks and you get hit pretty hard and you get overwhelmed pretty quickly. So I did like the fact that it was pretty challenging. Now I would not recommend this as a solo game. I did play a solo. Uh, it is a multiplayer game, a multiplayer online. So you can play with friends or you can play with strangers. Now, as far as this being cross platform, don't know. I do know that it, it is on Xbox as the key that I was offered at first was on Xbox, but I did not want to play it on Xbox. I wanted to play it on Steam um, because I wanted to stream it. Now, I will show you a few clips or have a few clips playing of the Twitch stream. Um, it was chaotic. It really was. Um, so I really wish that the tutorial was a little bit more fleshed out. I only played solo. I did not play uh, multiplayer online because I was not in the mood. Let's just Put it out there, keeping it real. I was not in the mood to play with some strangers. It was one of those days. And so I ended up playing solo, probably a mistake. It, I would say it was a mistake to play solo. I think it's definitely a game that would be way more fun and less frustrating uh, with friends or with perfect strangers. Hopefully you get a good party because uh, we know how those those can be FPSs online. We know, we may know. Uh, for those of us that played COD or Battlefield, yeah. So um, I would say that this is a cute game. It has a lot of promise. The reviews online seem to be mostly positive. Um, I would definitely say that this is a cute little jaunt to pick up if you want a little party game to play with your friends. Um, not solo, but definitely with friends or maybe, you know, I guess an online. Um, thank you again to the, the publishing studio and the devs for giving me this key. Um, but, um, I would, 
say that um, it is not a free to play game, but there are character customizations that you can earn. You start off as a basic bear, not much, on, not much to you. Uh, you earn little costumes and different skins as you progress um, with like coins and things like that. Um, and you also earn coins to maybe upgrade your weapons, upgrade your ammo, purchase ammo as the game, um, as you're playing the board and like i said that can be a little bit frustrating especially when you're running around there is some melee but the melee is really weak i don't know if that strengthens as the game goes as as i said i didn't play a lot of this game so please don't use my uh review of this to determine if um or at least the fact that i i felt like the melee was a little bit weak because there's possibility that melee is stronger um as you progress through the story or progress through the game I don't think there's a story. There wasn't much of a story, at least that I saw. Um, basically, you're protecting the door. You can fix the door, which I think is cool. So you get tools to fix the door. Um, but I think that's a little bit chaotic. That's why I think this is best to play with friends than solo, because there is a lot going on. You're fixing the door, you're getting ammo, you're grabbing new upgrades, and there's still mobs coming from different directions, sometimes at, um, at the same time. Uh, so it is hard to keep up with. But... I would definitely recommend this as a cute little jaunt into a FPS if you're not really comfortable with something like Battlefield or COD and you want something a little more playful, maybe something that you want to play with your kids or your, your younger siblings or just, you know, some cool friends that like to have a good time. So that is my review of Stuffed by Your Nightmares. Um, it is available on Steam uh, for the low lows, so definitely pick it up. Are people still saying low low? Probably not, but I am. I am still saying Lolo. All right. Thanks again. I hope you enjoyed this quick review and I hope you check it out. Ciao.